I've been looking at Corel Painter and sort of going through the brushes and um, saw this palette of brushes called Sergeant Brushes. Well, I've not just seen them. I've noticed them for a while and I've tried one or two before, but I thought they're intriguing me. I need to see if I can paint a picture just using the Sergeant Brushes. So I'm going to take this photograph um, of an old rocker and I am going to use the sergeant brushes to produce a portrait. So let's get into it. So here we are in Corel Painter. <clears throat> the first thing I do is I make a palette and drag all of the sergeant brushes in it because I'm not very familiar with them. I didn't try them out before this painting. The only one I've really used is the oily water. I've used that quite a lot, but the others I, I haven't used at all. So you can see here, I'm just having a little bit of a doodle with them to, uh, to uh, see what they're like. And then a couple of them I put at the bottom of the palette because I, I couldn't see me using them. And then the others I um, sort of just try them as I'm going along and, and see what I come up with. Um, <clears throat> I, I use the um, which brush was it? The real bristle soft, and sort of made it really small to use as a pencil to sort of sketch in my uh, first efforts of Dave. This is a mate of mine, by the way. His name's Dave Elliott, but he's not a relation. And uh, I, I took this photo of him when was it a vintage fair by the sea a couple of weeks ago, and I thought. It looked proper rock and roll old boy. Um, so I thought, I've got to do a painting of this. <laughs> rock and rollers, ro rockers never die. You know what I mean? They, or they don't grow old, they just die. Something like that. Anyway, um, I thought I would do this portrait of him. And I begin off begin by giving him a little pinhead, which uh, I will rectify shortly. And I just sort of getting some local colour. I um, spent quite a bit of time looking for a liquify tool in Corel Painter. I couldn't find it at all. So if anybody knows where that is, if you could let me know, that would be great. Because I did want to sort of push things around a bit. Um, because at the minute, it's not looking anything like him at all. Anyway, the sergeant brushes. This is what I'm doing this painting for. I wanted to see... If the sergeant brushes could be used on their own um, to produce a painting. And I have to say, they were really, really difficult. And as you can see here, I'm, I'm not even thinking about a likeness or anything. I'm just trying to get the colour on the canvas where I want it to be. And I'm trying all the brushes. The brushes, I eventually... Uh, find myself using most was the blocky background the drippy yellow the drippy jellyfish i thought was really useful i like that one a lot uh the real brish bristle soft and the simple brush and i think uh, i'm using the real oil oh at one point here you can see i actually brought in another brush a real oil filbert from another palette because I was struggling so much with the sergeant brushes. I have to say, I did paint over that, so I didn't cheat too much. I used it a little bit because I was so frustrated to start with. And then I thought, no, this is supposed to be a painting with the sergeant brushes. So I went back to using sergeant brushes after a while. I'm still using the real filbert at this point, or oil filbert. But it's helping me kind of work on getting a likeness now because I just couldn't I couldn't do it to start with with the sergeant brushes. They're not easy brushes to get on with. Having said that, I love the effects of all of them I tried. And if I don't use them to do a complete painting again, I will definitely be using them uh, with lots of other brushes um to sort of just put effects in paintings you see here that there i was even messing about with the um 
tracking to try and, and uh, get the pressure uh, a little bit different. I felt that I had to press on way too hard to use them. And here you can see now I've gone back to a blocky background sergeant brush and I'm over painting the face again with that. Uh, and it took me a long time. I spent a long time on the face. And in the end, I thought, you know what? Just leave the face at some point. And, uh, and then I decided to work on the body. And another thing was I couldn't, by cutting and pasting or uh, cutting and then transforming a shape, the edges were really difficult to blend in with the sergeant brushes. Um, I think I had to use the oily filbert to do that. So at this point, I thought, leave the face for a bit, Steve. Don't worry about that. Let's concentrate on the paint. And this should be, this is supposed to be fun. Uh, using the sergeant brushes to see what I could come up with. And uh, they were frustrating. So anyway, I get back to them. I'm now using the simple brush. And I'm sort of painting in the shadows on his jacket. And, um just getting in all of those darks and thinking about the background what i'm going to do with that because i've obviously simplified it a, a, a lot i kind of wanted the idea of this sort of um seaside thing going off so i've got this tent in the background which was a um, a vintage fair that we went to and i thought that kind of shows that it is a sort of a carnival type place that we're at and Dave, this old rocker, is there with his bottle of beer, uh, just chilling out, as he has done for many, many years, I guess. Uh, he, I played guitar, uh, I played bass with him in a band for a while called DR Blues. Um, they've got a Facebook page, I think, if you fancy checking that out and see what they do. I, I wasn't with them very long uh, because they split up. I don't know if that was anything to do with me, but I stayed, stayed friends and I went to visit him and um, we had this great weekend away. So as you can see, I'm back on the face now, thinking about colours and I've sort of half got a likeness, but I'm still struggling with these brushes to find the one, the one brush that's going to um, help me get the effect i want because at this point i'm thinking they're all looking a bit chalky and a bit like pastels and that's not sort of really what i want but i am thinking a little bit more about the uh, lightness and tweaking things as, as I, i'm going along i notice he's got some sort of dark shadows under his eyes and i'm kind of not liking the the glasses and the sort of light on his forehead. I thought I would throw him more into shade because I thought he looks a bit like a gangster and that would be a cool thing to do as well. And at this point, look, you can see I'm just totally frustrated with it. I think, you know what? Let's just block the old face out again. Uh, and that's what I did. I sort of blocked it all out. Started painting it again. And I'm using the blocky background brush now to sort of add the texture that I want. And notice the glasses now. I've lost the top of the glasses and I've sort of painted them in dark shadow. And I'm, for the first time, I'm beginning to think it's looking a little bit like him. So now what I'm doing, I'm starting to really look close at the features of his face and uh, trying to work on them to get this lightness of him. At one point, I thought, it's a cool painting, I like it, but I'm, I'm never ever going get, to get it to look like Dave at all, so I'm just going to have to accept it as a, a sort of a, a cool painting of some random, <laughs> random person and not actually say it was a portrait of, of Dave, which would have been a bit of a cop-out, I suppose. So the whole experience uh, doing this was really frustrating. Uh, Corel Painter crashed maybe 20 times throughout out the painting. I had to keep shutting it down. And there is the odd place where I've lo lost little bits of video because it had crashed. 
and then I sort of rebooted it and forgot to switch the video back on again, uh, which was quite frustrating. And it does seem to me that Corel Painter is really, really buggy. And uh, it was frustrating me a lot because when I'm working on the um, iPad, you know, I can't ever remember the iPad crashing on me at all. It probably has, but I just don't remember it because it's so infrequent. I, t I tweet lots of settings in, in this to try and uh, stop it crashing. And in the end, I got it working okay. So it was about three hours of struggling and it crashing all the time, and one hour of it being okay. So I get it signed there. Uh, I'm nearly finished, but I still feel like I need to add a little bit more detail. Uh, I don't know why they're called Sergeant Brushes. I'm not convinced that it looks like a painting in the style of Sergeant. Um, I don't know if that's what the idea is or what, or if the brush strokes look like they've been created by a similar style to how Sergeant would paint or what. I do like them. I think they are great. I think the textures are fantastic. I think they are really awkward to work with and you really have to push yourself and try different things to get them to work. But apart from that, I really, really enjoyed it. And if you like this video, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I've got lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.